we're off to an estate sale but before i could even get dressed this morning i had some messages for stuff i'm selling locally and we're about to make some cha-ching allegedly I am experimenting more and more with selling locally because honestly, the eBay fees have just been outrageous. And I have this item listed. I've had it listed now probably a couple of months on a local platform, changed it to a different one. And after having it on there maybe two weeks, someone reached out to me this morning and asking about it. Now, this thing is heavy. I got it for free. I had it listed for $175. The lady says she could come and get it and take it off my hands today for $100. I said, yeah, let's do this. She's supposed to meet me at two o'clock, so fingers crossed she doesn't ghost me. Those of you that watch my second channel may recognize the piece I am selling locally. It was given to me by a sponsor, and while I thought I was gonna use it either in my sunroom or my bedroom, Lately, I've been wanting less in my home, and I really don't use this. Um, I've probably used the heater on it maybe just a few hours. It works beautifully. It is a beautiful piece. So $100 and I got it for free, why not? We are near. We're about a quarter mile away. It's supposed to be on the right. Let's see if... She's right. Your destination is on the right. I think it's on the left. Okay, we're not going to complain. You know we don't like crowds. Oh my goodness. Please let this be worth it. Okay, let's get the Ikea bag. Well, I didn't wear white shoes today, so that's one good thing. I learned that. And there's dogs everywhere. Hey, baby. Cute little doggy. We're going to get our exercise today if we get nothing else. But hopefully we'll fill this bag up. Well, hopefully there's not a line to get in. Fifty for all. I don't know what Farberwear sells for, but I'm not willing to invest fifty. All right, the jacket I believe is $15 and I could probably get 60, so we're gonna pick it up. I was looking at this Dooney and Burke bag. It was very small though. And whenever I Google imaged this one, I didn't see anything this size. There was just something about it. I don't know, it just didn't feel right. So I did leave it behind even though it was only $5. Hey, I'm great. How are you? Good. 
You pay in cash? Yes. $14.98. All right. There you go. And there's more in the basement? Yes, ma'am. All righty. So even better, he let me have the jacket for eight. And I picked up two brooches. One is Monet and one is Franzia. Franzia. Ugh, I don't even remember. Either way, they look pretty good just by doing a, good, a quick uh, Google lens on it. So I paid $14.98. Now we're heading into the basement. All right, it's a little dark down here, guys. So I don't know how much you're going to see of this. I'll try to lighten it whenever I'm editing. Hmm, yeah, that don't look creepy at all. Let's see. Any good appliances? If we could find some more space makers, that'd be awesome. Now it's scratched up. Man, it is dark in here. Ski boots, but they look like they're dry rot just a little bit. Oh, what kind of boots they got? Mm, the boots don't look any better either. Yeah. All right, this is Italy on it. I can't think of the name of the nativity scene that goes for a lot of money. But we're going to Google this. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think this is the stuff. Fontanini. I think this is it. Oh my gosh, don't get too excited. You guys, I think we're going to take a chance on it for 30 I think we're going to do it. Because even if they don't sell all together, some people may be looking just for the pieces. Yeah, we're going to pick it up for 30 All right, hopefully this is a winner, winner chicken dinner. Just be on the safe side, I'm going to put it in my IKEA bag. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's pretty. Is that handmade? Very cool looking. See, I don't know a hand stitch from a sewing machine stitch. Or like, is I guess, well, yeah, there's a difference. One, you use your hand and one, you use a machine. Thank you, Captain Obvious. That's heavy. I mean, I'm sure if it's handmade, you're not really going to see much about it. Well, there's one fifty-eight on Etsy. I just don't know. I'm not good at stuff like that. Let me know in the comments. Should I have bought this or should I have left it? Because I'm leaving it. All right, we're gonna look over the Christmas stuff one more time to see if we're missing any more Fontanini. Oh my goodness. I hope I'm not getting too excited about it, but from my research and what I've seen other people pick up with Fontanini, yeah, it sells for some good money. Hi, I am ready. I got the nativity scene. This I purchased upstairs and I have that. Yeah. All right, it is 32.10. All righty. So the crowds have all thinned out and I still parked way, way down the road. I should have just tried to squirrel my way in here and got a parking place, but I didn't. So once again, we're gonna get our exercise in, get our steps in. At least the stuff isn't heavy though, but I'm not complaining. Actually, it sounds like you are. It is a nice day. It feels like fall if I didn't mention that already. It is so nice. I love it when it is nice and chilly because I sweat like a pig whenever I'm going through all the stuff in someone's house. So thank goodness for cool days and deodorant. Deodorant. So now that we're home, I took a closer look at all the pieces of the nativity scene. They do look like they are Fontanini, except I do have two that I'm really on the fence about. Not sure about these. I don't see a maker's mark unless it's up inside of there and I can't see that far. There's 15 pieces out of the 15, 13 I know for sure are Fontanini. 
after doing a bit more research, I realized some of them did not have the Fontanini mark on them. So I did find out they are Lello and Landy. So there are three different types that I picked up, but all of them should sell for pretty good money. And the manger, I am going to sell this separately. There is, uh, what does it say? June 1992, Bronner's Christmas Decorations. I don't know if that's right or not. But anyway, 1992. And it looks like you could probably put some lights going through there. Maybe the star or twinkle lights or something. I'm not going to sell this entire set together. From what I'm looking at online, the nativity scene, this really isn't the complete scene altogether. So I'm just going to piece them out and hopefully, just hopefully, I can turn, what did I pay, $30 for that? Maybe I can turn that $30 into $200 or more just by selling everything separately. And as I was waiting in line to get checked out, I did pick up two brooches. One of them is Monet, and hopefully that $3 will make us some Monet. I see what you did there. And Florenza, so beautiful. These were $3 a piece. And the Florenza looks like it goes for some pretty good money. I'm hoping I can make maybe, I don't know, sell this for 35 or 40 for the Florenza and maybe 25 to 30 on the Monet. And I think I counted my chickens before they were hatched when it, when it comes to selling that fireplace. After a long conversation with the young lady, I didn't give her my address. I never give my address until I know for certain that the deal is going to go through. Well, it's about 30 minutes till two o'clock and I told her two o'clock. She's never gotten back with me. Even after that long conversation, she ghosted me. She ghosted me. So that is one of the pitfalls or the caveats or whatever you want to call it when it comes to selling locally. You get ghosted a lot. And I can't stand when they ask, is this available? Do you see it listed? Then it's available. All you care about is making money. But nevertheless, we had a great day at the estate sale and I'm hoping to flip that $45 into 200 to 250. Of course, it doesn't happen overnight, so be sure your notification bell is on and you're subscribed. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you join the community. If you wanna check out my last video, I'll put it up here. And if you wanna check out the latest video on my second channel, I'll pop it right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.